Okay, let's have a look how to add a file. Uh, this is probably one of the most common activities that, um, and one of the first activities that teachers would do in a Moodle course. Once again, we turn the magic editing button on. We are assuming we are we have the editing rights in this particular course, and we go to add a resource and link to a file. We will do the website in another screencast, but let's just focus on the link adding a file. So, link a link to a file. Name, let's say it's a questioning skills example, and we provide a brief description here. Uh, skills um, examples. Um, the reason for a short description is uh, this is particularly useful if you got about if you if your course ends up with many many resources and unless you provide a short description for each of them eventually you will not know what you've actually initially put in now which uh, this is a um, now we get down to business we actually choose or upload a file we click on the um, option here and we upload a file from a, from a hard drive from the location that we pick. Now this is pretty much like uh, doing an attachment, um, uh, a bit like an email attachment is how it works. So let's say I want to pick up a question and skills file from here and I choose to upload it and the system uploads it. Now once we've, once we, we've got the message that the file was uploaded successfully, um, we need to, we can also rename it, in this case we're not going to rename it, we are happy with the name but if you want to we can click on this and rename it. Um, now we're going to choose it in order to display it. Now you can see that the name of the file has appeared here. Okay. Now we need to specify whether it's going to open in the same window or in a new window. I would warmly recommend, as a matter of course, uh, for any new documents, for anything that you do, to, for it to open a new window. The reason for that is, when a student is finished working with a, if if a, stu if a document opens in the same window, i.e., no new browser opens, when they're finished with it, they will simply click on the red cross, and they will actually shut down not only that document, but the entire uh, uh, Moodle site and entire uh, Moodle login as well. So. Um, I would, as I say, I would warmly recommend that um, you get in the habit of opening new resources, uh, any resources that you add in a new window. Um, I wouldn't go into great depth uh, into these other parameters, but let's just save changes and return the course now. And you will see the question and skills example is displayed here um, for uh, people to access it. So, for example, all they have to do is click on it and you will probably give them any option whether they just want to open it or whether they want to save it to disk.